Okay, so what I have here is a very basic steam engine. I have my boiler, reminiscent of the early locomotives, and I have uh, an X chemical reaction. Basically, I'm burning sterno over water, sealing this boiler under pressure. And, of course, the steam whistle lets some air out. The mechanical energy, so chemical energy given off under the boiler. It's absorbed by the water. The water absorbs the energy, goes from a physical change from a liquid to a gas. That gas has tremendous energy, and with that energy I can make the whistle, but right here it's pumped through a mechanical device, and this chemical energy converted to mechanical here. Turn on the gas here, and if I would flip the switch maybe, maybe give it a little help. Now I have mechanical energy. And this mechanical device, steam engine, is also running an alternator for creating electrical energy. Because this pulley here is cranking this device and creating electrical energy. So my chemical energy, kind of like how LIPA, our chemical company, produces uh, electricity. Okay, really just boil some water using fossil fuels. That steam that's produced by boiling the water is used to turn turbines, like this little one. And that turbine can create electricity, maybe, although my steam engine is now dying. I'm running out. Okay, but you can see how that would work. So in any case, it's a great little show of transfer of energy. We don't create energy, we don't destroy it. We go from the chemical in this case, okay, causing a physical change, making steam. The steam created, um, of course, it created mechanical energy, okay, which I think I'm dying here. And the mechanical energy turning this turbine or this generator or alternator, if you want to think about a car, create electrical energy. I also created heat. So I didn't destroy. Okay, I didn't create any heat, it just transferred. Now most engines are inefficient, like this one, and it loses most of its energy to heat. Okay, this is a very, very inefficient process, engines. So this is an example of conversion of energy and law of conservation of energy, where energy is not created nor destroyed, just converted from one form to the other. Mostly heat here, but we converted some of that uh, thermal energy, mostly to heat, but some into mechanical and some of that mechanical into electrical in this case. Okay, take care.